Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have GMT daily update. I hope that you are having a fantastic day wherever you are. I'm a little bit concerned about GMT as I was back with ApeCoin and I want you to be careful. All I'm doing this is for your best, right? I want your best and I do not want you to get into troubles with the tweets and the memes that we have potentially for many altcoins because many, many people are getting so pumped up out of an altcoin that they are saying it is going, for example, for TMT, it is going to 20 USDT and so on. While well, this is not true. Okay, I want you to be extremely careful. Let's see what is going probably to happen with TMT against USDT chart. What levels do we need to hold and what is the future? Stay tuned. So let's go right now to see the technical analysis. And you can see that we have a very nice oversold in the stochastic RSI on the daily frame. We have continuous bearish RSI divergences, but the price does not go so much down. Well, while this is true and we have some nice, nice buying pressure over the previous day, we do not have a crazy, crazy correction coming in. Well, you should still be careful. And I will explain why, do not worry about that. Let's go TMT against Bitcoin chart. What do we have here and where are we going to is simply, what I'm going to do actually is simply to draw a nice Fibonacci from the bottom to the top in order to find major support levels. And here we are, we have the 0.618. I feel like though, we are going to lose it and we are going down to 0.407946. Okay, this is the next price target for GMT against Bitcoin chart. You can see there, around there, will be the 20-day EME as well. And we are going to see further correction for GMT, despite the fact that the stochastic RSI is being into an oversold. Sometimes we are seeing huge corrections when the stochastic RSI it is in an oversold because it is the first indicator that it goes either in an overbought, either in an oversold as well. It is sensitive to the price action, it goes down or up in just a small price movement. So right there, I want you to be extremely careful. As for the 4-hour frame, you will see that if we have the 20-day MA and the 50-day MA, we are now beyond the 50-day and the 20-day MA. Is that bad? No. But it is the first time we went beyond since 13 April 2022, right? Usually, this was a great buying entry. For example, whenever we are going down from the 50-day MA, we have a crazy crazy buying entry right here when we are on an impulsive wave mode okay and this is what you should be doing but here what we had for example was a very very nice bullish pattern can you see that can you take it out very nice bullish pattern for tmt and that's why we went all the way higher but right now what we are doing is that we are forming constant bearish RSI divergences since 30 March. Is that a bad thing? Yes, it is. We have to see the price analysis though. If you are seeing that TMT against Bitcoin chart will move sideways and we do not lose the momentum but going up instead, this means that probably this altcoin has one more chance of having one more run. However, I will say that for now, and I will keep this, that the most probable scenario, which I'm giving an 80% or more, is to go further down for TMT against Bitcoin chart. But because this is crypto, we have seen everything. I cannot be 100% sure for now because I haven't seen any, any crazy bearish movement. But the most probable scenario is to go down. Let's go to GMT against USDT chart. And right here, what do we have is that we are having some important support levels. 3.35 is the first. 3.09 to 3 USDT is the second one. And of course, I feel like that we are going even to 2.83 USDT for TMT against USDT chart. So what I'm going to think about this is that possible we are going to have, we are having actually constant bearish RSA divergences. We are having a little bit of a 
um, correction not so much so as we have seen in Napecoin, for example, that we went down all the way minus 20% and so on. Okay, we are seeing some crazy stuff for GMT against SDT. The daily frame seems very, very bad. However, what we are going to do is probably go down to 3.09, 2.83, which we will find probably a nice buying pressure. Not the best one, but a nice buying pressure. Okay. And we will see if we can manage to close above and stay above the 2.83 while we fall down here and have a nice buying pressure. Maybe this is a bottom for the short term. However, what I think that it will happen is that we are going down to the 2.83 to 3 USDT. Then we are going to have a mini buying pressure and then we are going to go further down as well. So what we are going to see is a lower low, lower high pattern for GMT against USDT as well. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that if you've bought at the top, you will take your profits back. But I want to tell you always the truth. I want to be honest with the um, team, with everyone actually that sees behind the screens, that watches me behind the screens with the audience. As simple as that. Okay. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription and see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.